What the hell are you again? Figured he was still alive. Not long now. I shouldn't say anything. Damn foresters. Have to be so fucking far away. Daddy? That's far enough. I come from the twins bearing the dead of House Forrester. Lordly types from the looks of them. All right, we'll take them. Well, they're not free, are they? How much are you paying for them? Sir Ryland. You again? I, uh, Who have I you was, got this time? Some poor peasant dressed up like a I, lord. Uh, a stable boy was, in Bannerman's clothes. You I did this rough. at Duskendale. And you have the fucking stones to try it again? No, I... This house has oh, suffered the loss of many oh. good men. And you dare come here claiming to have Forrester dead? They're Forrester! Look at the colours! A fine <sighs> trick. I'm sure you... Lee. Now! Fine! I'll dump them in the river then! <sighs> you come back here again, you won't be leaving! You got that? I, I heard you! That was a sheep fucker. <clears throat> I'm sorry, sir. I don't worry you, sir. Seven hours. What is it, sir? This one's still alive. You there? Who are you? Oh. Ryland. Roderick? Roderick. By oh, the gods, it is you! Sir? Fetch the maester! Hurry! Fetch the maester! Roderick! Should not be awake. The milk of the poppy. Drink. Come now. Let's all drink it. That's it. Roderick! My lady! I am at a very delicate moment in the surgery. Please, I want to see my son. How is he? Will he live? Only if you let me finish my work. Let him. Sir, my lady, I must insist that you leave. No. Roderick, what have they done to you? These wounds would have killed any other man. As it is, he may never walk again. Roderick? What's wrong with him? He drank the milk of the poppy. Please don't leave me. Not yet. Come on. Just, uh... You know.
I haven't heard that one before. It's nice. Roderick, thank the gods. Brother, I think oh, I've lost brother. you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Are you all right? Come here, sister. How bad is it? <laughs> Maestor Tengren says your leg may never fully heal. And your face. I look half as bad as I feel. Well, at least you look better than you did. Roderick, there's something you need to know. Ethan is dead. Ethan? Bruce Bolton's bastard came here and threatened to take me away. Ethan grabbed me. And that monster put a blade through his throat. Like it was nothing. Ethan? How could this happen to him? I can't believe he's gone. I think that'll be the right choice. We're planning to honor Ethan in the grove alongside father. And now mother wants me to write this song for the funeral. I can't. <laughs> No tears. You're stronger than that. It's been chaos here since he died. We have White Hill soldiers stationed in our courtyard. Even the small folk don't feel safe. You need to show everyone who this house belongs to. They need a lot. You're still a hero to them. If you lead, others will follow. Mm. I know you still need time to heal, but... I'll be fine, Talia. The Council's meeting in the Great Hall right now, actually. Nobody expects you there, but if you think you're ready... I want to go. Can you even stand? They could use oh, your leadership. Not. But if you're not ready... Only one way to find out. I missed you, brother. You can do this, Roderick. Let's see. I know you can. Why'd you do that? I won't let anyone see you like this. <laughs> Not when the house appears so weak already. I was rolled in on a corpse, Cat. The damage is done. But you're the lord of the house now. You must appear strong, solid. You can't do that on the floor. It's a long way to the Great Hall. We can't risk you falling where others can see. Persistent. Take my hand. Let me help you. Thank you, Talia. Ready? <laughs> That's it. <clears throat>
Everyone will be so glad to see you up. Though, I think you'll find that much has changed. That's some crazy shit. Castle Black. So this is the site of the Night's Watch. The wall. Always wanted to see it, but not like this. Recruits at the gate! Another one for Frostfinger. On a horse, no less. Built by giants, doesn't it? You're new, here to take the black. Hmm, because you got that look about you. I need to speak to the Lord Commander. We, uh, don't have one right now. Oh. It's Frostfinger you want. You'll get you sorted out. Which one's Frostfinger? That grizzled old prune over there. Says us new recruits are all dead men. But don't let him scare you. <laughs> that's just his way. You seem nice. That's not so good round here. You fight like a girl. A wildling girl, maybe. What's in these barrels? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Oh. Need to carry that. <clears throat> you recruits, you come, you train, you fight, you die. Who are you, boy? I'm Gary Tuttle, nephew to Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of Ironrath. Gary Tuttle of Ironrath? And how does a Castellan's nephew get himself sent to the wall? You're a thief, a raper. You abandon your post, or do you just fancy dying someplace cold? I killed the men who murdered my family. Then you know how to fight, at least. And you're no liar, either. Sir? From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House Forester. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit, but then he asks us to make you a ranger. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. You are a killer. Even if you are man enough to own up to it. If you say so. I do. Now then, we'll start your training in the morning. For today, you need a cot and a cloak. 
Understood. On, Tuttle. Sooner or later, the Night's Watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. <laughs> and last we'd heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay. So, Malcolm caught a ship headed for... I heard they took him off a corpse cart. <laughs> and he's missing his arms and legs. <laughs> At least he can still eat and shit. The White Hill soldiers are drunk again. <laughs> and we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. That eyes, dirty, blood. Well, I say he's dead, it? and they've dressed up some peasant in his place. Fill me up, would you? And bring us some salted pork while you're at it. <laughs> Fill yourself up, you lazy fuck. Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? He's hideous. Had a run-in with Walder Frey, cripple. did you? And he's leaning on a girl. Should have buried him with the corpses. Forrester's Real cursed. shame about your leg, oh, Lord. Give us a toss. Don't let go of your sister now. We have business in the Great Hall. Go round. Get out of my way. I'm quite comfortable, thank you. And I don't think you're gonna make me. I wonder what's weaker. Your legs, or this house? Move, now! Go on then, my lord. Let's go. Hurt, hurt. It's ridiculous. You're treating them like the Get wine this. keeps their wits dull. It makes us look weak. Both of you, please. So you'd rather they riot? Duncan, you're a damn fool sometimes. It doesn't matter what you think. I was chosen as sentinel. My lords. Roderick, my boy. Come, join us. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. Good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking, if you walked again at all. It was highly probable. I told you he'd be up and about. You call this walking? I can barely stand. Well, you're here at least. And a good thing, too. Indeed it is. Dali has told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim, my lord. No thanks to your sentinel. He's been getting the White Hill soldiers drunk. It keeps them off their guard. They think you're a bloody fool. My lords, please. Oh, oh, I'm a fool. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay stole Duncan. I've told you. I was keeping an eye on the Bolton soldiers. You should have been protecting your lord. Now Ethan's dead, and Ryan a hostage. And what have you done to get him back? Nothing. Because we have no army. 
It's because you have no balls! How dare you! I am your lord. Of course. Apologies, my lord. The White Hills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves, when we That's should cool. be fighting them. I we like need that. an army to win that fight. And oh, we don't have boss. One. Not anymore. Summon our allies, then. I'm afraid we have none left, my lord. We've heard little from the Glovers since the Ironborn took Deepwood Mott. Houses Helliver, Grayson, and Brownbarrow were all slaughtered at the Twins. And the rest of our allies are terrified of the Boltons. You forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now! He's barely recovered. I'm not ready. My son, I understand your doubts, but if she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground! Yes, this marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. We're talking about a marriage, not an Ironwood contract. Talia does have a point. I'm not the man I used to be. You can still make her happy, Roderick. And she can do the same for you. If Elena does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute? Keep them drunk. It's better than inciting them to violence. Yes, my lord. Now, if there's nothing more to discuss. I think this is a better choice anyway. Because Mister, if we do starve, they go it's time crazy, to light I think. The ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Welcome back, my lord. It's so good to many be back. Decisions. Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him and Ethan. How is your song coming? Ethan always helped me with music. It's not the same without him. I can help you with it. That's all right. The last time you sang, all the dogs in the kennel started howling. But thank you. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much <coughs> influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but... Maybe your sister can find a way to help. 